Today we're going to be working on the front suspension on Michael's Mark III. I would like to welcome all of you back to the IE427 garage. Today we're going to be working on the front suspension on Michael's Mark III. We will be disassembling the entire front suspension including the upper and lower control arms. We are going to be pulling the existing Bilstein front coilovers and replacing them with some of the Factory 5 red Coney coilovers. And then uh, we're going to be reassembling the entire front suspension after everything has been inspected and lubricated. So I'll follow along as we start uh, by taking off the front wheels. All right, a little farther along, I've got the brake caliper off. I have the brake caliper bracket off. Pulled the tire first, of course. Brake rotor is off. So I've got the pr uh, the front end, the front right of the car, pretty much torn apart. I did pull the coilover out as well. I've got the coilover sitting over here. And I'm going to have to measure the shaft on this one to see if it's been upgraded. If it hasn't, it doesn't matter at this point because we're replacing these coilovers with the conies. But my next thing is that I've taken all of the bolts that hold the three corners of the upper control arm I've pulled the nuts off of those, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this adjuster off, measure the center to center lines on it, put the new adjusters on with the same measurements so that we're close to the same setting the previous front end alignment was. Then I'm going to pull off the back bolt. I'm going to let the entire lower control arm and spindle drop down and then I am going to pull the crossbar that joins the back of the control arm together off so that I can pull the bearing portion of each side apart, inspect it, grease it and put it back together. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm a little farther along. Alright, I've got everything apart up here. I pulled that upper control arm cross brace with the bearing ends out. This cross brace or this this adjuster is actually part of the upper control arm triangular piece that houses the ball joint. The front adjuster I have put together with the new adjuster sleeve and I've got it to the same dimension the previous one was which was seven and three eighths. So we'll see how that works out. May end up having to cut this one a little shorter, but we'll uh, we'll figure that out when we do the alignment. And then I pulled the upper cross brace all apart, inspected the inside of the bearing portion of it, and the outside diameter of the cross brace itself where the bearing rides. And everything looks good. I don't see any unusual wear um, everything came apart and went back together just fine. I did put a little bit of um, high pressure lube on the bearing surface before I put it back together. The way these particular ones come apart, there is a snap ring on the end of it right here. And you expand that snap ring and once the snap ring is off, there is a little washer right here and then it slides right off. And putting it back together is just the opposite. So this is all ready to go back on. I'm gonna probably spend a little bit of time cleaning up the um, triangular portion where the ball joint is. Just clean this up a little bit and I'll try to clean up this uh, rear sleeve as well. Um, I may even clean up the spindle and see if maybe uh, I can mask it off and shoot it with some paint because it's pretty dirty. Um, and next up will be the lower control arm. So I'm going to pull the two bolts, the two mounting bolts out there 
and over here and we're going to pull those out we're going to inspect the bushings and the sleeves inside those just to make sure everything's good there and in the process of pulling this stuff apart i noticed that there's a, a tear in our steering boot so i am going to add that to the list of things that we need to put on our list and get those ordered up so we can get those replaced i think they come only come in pairs so We'll go ahead and we'll replace both sides, even though the other side looks okay. And I'll bring you guys back when uh, I'm starting to put this side all back together. All right, a little update on the front end of Michael's Mark III. We have the lower control arms off of the car. And sitting down here on the runway of the lift, I've already gone through and inspected the bushings. The bushings look good. The sleeves inside look good. We're going to clean up the spacer washers. Those will go back in. Um, probably clean up the bolts a little before they go back in. And then start reassembling all of this back to the way it was with some subtle improvements. Um, we do have a steering rack boot on order hopefully we'll get that within the next week so since i had to disconnect the tie rod in anyway i will just leave that disconnected and we will start putting this all back together i'll bring you guys back then okay fast forward a little bit we've got everything as clean as we're going to get it some of this stuff has just been so neglected that it's just not going to come back these upper sleeves and nuts they're so oxidized this car um appears to have spent some time on the west coast near the ocean and once this stuff starts to turn this kind of grayish color it it's hard to get back these were all um i think it's what cadmium plated so they've got that gold finish to them similar to the same color that this sleeve is over here and so hitting them with the purple cleaner and and everything else we've got it pretty clean but it's just it's not going to get much better um, we did clean the spindle and um, the spindle adapter uh, with the purple stuff. And then we went ahead and um, hit it with brake clean. And then I've got one coat of rattle can gloss black on there. I'll probably give it one or two more coats just so that it, hopefully it'll uh, maintain its look over the next 10 years or so. And we will... Um, start putting brake components on and, and the uh, coil over as soon as we get that paint to dry. Bringing you guys back real quick. Got the coil over installed. Make sure that you get the right spacers in the right position because if you're trying to get the bigger spacers where the smaller spacers go and vice versa, you're not going to be uh, very lucky. Um, in this case, I was missing the bolt for the top of each side but um, I will say that factory 5 came through for us a couple of weeks ago and sent us out some um, coilovers when they were very low on stock and so we appreciate that greatly so the fact that I was missing a couple of bolts is not a problem because I always keep any extra bolt that comes through the shop and is left over for many kits. So I have a number of the right size bolts for all this stuff, both the uppers and the lowers. So it wasn't an issue. Grabbed a bolt, put it in there, and tied the coil over down where it goes. All right, everybody. As you can see, the wheels are back on. You can see the calipers kind of peeking through there. Let me turn the wheel a little bit. You can get a better view of them. So we're pretty well wrapped up on the front suspension work and the front brake calipers. So we're going to be moving back to some of the stuff we were working on before. I think I'm going to go ahead and go back and start finishing up all of the heat and sound mat in the car. I was doing that kind of just as uh, busy work while I was waiting on parts. So now, you know, the package tray, uh, heat and sound mat, that can be done. The, uh, the little pieces in between the, uh, the two sides on the top of the tunnel can be done. Under the doors can be done. And we can even start on some of the trunk work um, as far as the heat and sound mat. I want to wait on the far back trunk panel 
on the heat and sound mat simply because I want to get the fuel lines in. And so I'm going to have those made at the local hose shop. And once I've got those in, it's just a lot easier to get to everything with that panel off in the back. But once those are in, then we'll be able to put that last uh, trunk panel in and get that heat and sound mat on as well. So over on this side, again, you can see the, the coilovers in, everything's cleaned up. And you can see the caliper just kind of peekaboo through the, the wheels. These are not the wheels that are for this car. These are just my shop wheels that I am able to push the cars around on. And uh, so, yeah. So I want to thank all you guys for watching. The, um, the car is coming along nicely. I wish that it was coming along quicker. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, everybody knows with uh, the current conditions and supply issues that sometimes we're just you know we're waiting on parts and so I'm doing everything I can to uh, move to other things um, I've done enough of these cars that I generally know what I can and can't do in a certain order in order to uh, keep the keep the build moving along so again appreciate you guys watching uh, like and subscribe uh, if you'd like uh, hit the little notification bell and then uh, we'll see you guys all next time have a great day.